Sean O'Malley versus Henry Cejudo. Right away, this fight would be hilarious because O'Malley's 5'11", Cejudo is 5'4", they say. Big discrepancy in height, big discrepancy in reach, leg, arm, everything. Two totally different builds. Two totally different guys. Two totally different types of fighters. O'Malley relies on his striking. It's not a secret. He's got power at 135 pounds. He's got incredible range. He floats. He's so light on his feet. That's what is great Rashad. about him. I didn't O'Malley. see that. You want to match him if he's right here. I'd love a tuna. What do you say, Precious? Serious? Serious? Seriously? Are you in the, you're, you're, you're good to go now, yeah, huh? I'm good to go. Say it. What would you want to bend the knee at what time? Because I think you absolutely suck. What do you weigh? Go ahead, carry on with the interview. Go ahead, carry on. <laughs> okay, it's crazy. No one, no one takes that dude serious. I, I he's this fun. striker that just land shots. And when he lands the shots, they're just perfect. He's got incredible technique. Versus the message. Henry Cejudo, undersized man that has power. Incredible wrestling abilities. Fast guy that takes people down. Although, I saw him taken down in his last fight by Aljamain Sterling. That's what he's known for. He's known for taking his opponents down. All in all, he's just a great fighter. He's a former champion. He's a great. Ranked at number three right now. It doesn't matter where he's ranked. Henry Cejudo is impeccable. He's world class. He's just a great fighter. What would happen between these two? Besides the fact that the fight would look ridiculous going into it. And besides the fact that both guys are totally different in their styles. What would it be to see these two guys fight? I think it's going to happen soon. I think that Henry Cejudo, although he's ranked at number three, he's the type of guy that's going to get a title shot. People want to see Henry Cejudo. They want to see Cejudo versus the other guys in the division. And it's because he's a former Olympian, he's a former champion, and he's hilarious. A lot of people know him. He's incredibly popular. But it's not that. He's a great fighter, and he still is today. At this moment in time, we know that Henry Cejudo is good. Although he lost his last fight, he hasn't really stopped fighting incredible fight. What would happen in a fight between these two guys? Cejudo rises to the occasion. In big fights, he steps up. Big moments in life, Cejudo's there. He does well. That's what is great about Henry Cejudo. Being a great wrestler, winning two different titles in the Ultimate Fighting Championship simultaneously, being the fourth guy to do that, and the second to defend titles in two different weight divisions. So as an Ultimate Fighter, as a UFC fighter, Henry Cejudo is world class. His entire life has just been great. Sean O'Malley just stepped up. He just made his first great moment. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter any of it. It would matter who would rise to the occasion in this fight. So Udo has been known to do that. Although in his last fight, he failed us. He failed us versus Aljamain Sterling. We really thought that Henry Cejudo would bring more. Is Henry Cejudo at 36 years old starting to lose his luster? That's the question here. Is it time for Sean O'Malley? Is it Sean O'Malley time? I think this would be a great fight because of the contrast, because of the difference in these two men. Because these two guys have risen to the occasion in great moments. I think it would be a great fight for the title. I think that Sugar Sean O'Malley would really be tested in this fight. I think that this would be a really tough test for him. Whether he wins or not, this would be a great test for him. As champion, if he can get by Henry Cejudo, he would have beaten some of the greatest in the world. And that would be the point of this fight. I think that Sean O'Malley would win the fight because of what I saw from Henry Cejudo last time. I think that Cejudo would really need to step it up. Step it up, forget about the past, and go out there and take out Sean O'Malley. Really be able to time his attack. Get past his reign. Take him down. That would be what Cejudo would need to do. Stick to him. Don't let him loose. Beat him up. Overpower him from the beginning of the fight to the end. It'd be a tough fight for Henry Cejudo. I think, personally. I think it'd be a great fight. All in all. Great, great, great fight. This would be an impeccable war. I would want to see it.